Okay, here is attendance settings, right? So first on the setting is the clock in rules. So what are the clock in rules? Uh, makeshift selection mandatory and allow clocking. So what this tells you is if an uh, employee wants to clock in, they have to select their shift first before clocking in, right? So if you don't uh, enable this, then employee just can simply clock in without telling the system which shift actually they are going. Because sometimes employee have uh, two or three shift assigned to them. Okay. So it's very important if you have, if you assign two or three shifts to employee, make sure that you enable this. So employee have, they, it will force the employee to select the shift of which they are supposed to clock in. Uh, for example, lah, they are the shift pagi and shift petang assigned to him. So, bila dia masuk pagi, when when they comes uh comes in for work in the morning, so they they supposed to select shift morning to indicate that they are coming for the morning shift lah, and then only they are allowed to clock in. If they comes in, let's say they 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 change shift uh, with another person that clocks uh, uh, that uh, supposed to comes in at uh. Uh, shift afternoon, then he can choose afternoon shift and clock in under uh, afternoon shift clock, clock in. Right? So this is the first rule. And then allow early clock in. That means uh, you can set any time or you can set time. Only allow employee to clock in uh, 15 minutes before their schedule time. Uh, for example, if your shift starts from 9, System will allow only allow uh, employee to clock in from starts from eight forty five. So you can set time here, so fifteen minutes. Okay, you can do that, or you can just choose any time. So if let's say shift is nine o'clock, they come into the office at seven, they can all uh, already clock in. But the system will only calculate uh their our working hours starts from uh. Uh, starts from the hour that they uh, set in the shift. If it, let's say this, uh, the, set, the, the work hours is 9 o'clock, 9 a.m., then even though they clock at 7, clock in at 7, it will capture the 7 o'clock clock in, but the hours will start from 9 o'clock. Okay, so this is the clock in rules. Um, just put uh, save. And hard day overtime features. We have two overtime features that you can use uh, uh, with hard day. Uh, one is overtime request and the other one is overtime form. Uh, these are two different um, uh, features that you can use. If you select overtime request, then the system will allow you to request for an overtime. Uh, again, example, if let's say you, 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 your shift is 9 to 6, all right? and today you want to request for an overtime okay, of 2 hours duration. That means you want uh, your, your overtimes will start at 6 and end at 8. Okay? So if you use this, then when you make an overtime request in your uh, Hade, you 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 make a request you put a duration of two hours the system will check against attendance record so if an employee uh, uh, nine to six request for two hours overtime and then they clock out at nine o'clock okay nine o'clock in the, at night lah okay nine p nine a.m six p.m supposed to finish the job uh normal hours and then request of overtime two hours. So it's supposed to be until uh, 8 lah kan? But the employee clock out at 9 p.m. later on. System will only recognize the first two hours that they uh, request for the overtime. So it won't calculate up to three hours, even though the clock out time is uh, at 9. Okay, three hours, 6 to 9. Uh, system will only capture the two hours that they requested. Okay, that is for overtime requests. So it has a check and balance. Uh, one is the attendance record, the clock in, clock out. 
The other one is the overtime request. Second one is the overtime form. If you choose overtime form, so overtime form is just like an ordinary overtime form where you fill in the form. You say you want to uh, do overtime for two hours today and send to the approver. Approver approve. It takes that as an approval. It doesn't check your overtime. Okay, this is uh, used for those employee that doesn't have a clock in, clock out. Uh, for example, they, tak de, um, they, tak de, they, they don't have mobile apps to request for the overtime. Okay, so they use the overtime form to submit uh, for the OT and it accepts whatever that has been approved. It doesn't uh, check against the uh, OT uh, clock in and clock out. Okay. So this is the two different things. Next one is the time you need. So it's by block. Uh, this is standard. You can use, you can choose 30 minutes, 15 or 10 minutes to the block. So when it's rounded, then it follows this one. Okay. Uh, you can read it later. And then uh, system will also auto approve your clock in and clock out if the criteria here is met. Okay. If let's say your clock in clock out shift is nine to six, the employee clock in uh, 15 minutes before nine o'clock and clock out after six o'clock. Autumn and it, 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 uh, the employee uh, select the shift automatically system will recognize this as this is what being assigned to you and you have uh, met the criteria and it's auto approved in the system. But if let's say it's nine to six, but the employee clock in at 10 o'clock and then clock out at six and then the Automatically, the system will, the status of the clock in will be pending because it needs approval from the supervisor or from uh, the manager that he reports to to approve it because, um, you know, uh, because they must play what, okay? Because uh, the employee does not clock in at the supposed time, maybe they are jam, traffic, crater rosa, or whatever. And then, um, Manager have to ask lah. Hey, you clock in at ten. Uh, why is that? Blah blah blah. Okay. So then only approver will approve it lah. Okay. So you can click on uh, on this to enable auto approve. Uh, and then the other thing is the cut off date lah. Okay, cut off date means it's it's very straightforward lah. Whether you enable it, it it will calculate from whatever cut off date yang you have. So this now you have to create your shift. So how do you create your shift? Simple lah. You just create new shift. Let's say shift morning or shift AM. Right? So this is uh, you create lah, your shift 9 uh, 6 okay. from Monday to Friday. So it starts from September and until December. Okay. Next year it will be a different shift. For, for example, lah. Okay. So it now ugly clock in. Then does this shift you allow it for overtime? For example, let's say uh, you allow for overtime, you just click allow overtime, and then what is the normal thing your overtime pay? It's 1.5. Lah. This is what we already set in the payroll, it will check in the payroll. So you can also limit your overtime duration. Uh, you choose allow overtime request. Okay. So when you choose allow overtime request, this is when the system will check against the uh, against the clock out time. Okay. So and then automatically by default it's exclude non requested lah. So if you request two hours, but uh, clock out you should see hours. It's only uh take in the requested the non requested data can masuk right and then you can add in uh for those young you are the board maybe a night shift you want to add in the shift allowance there you just put the shift allowance so every time they clock in uh shift allowance they got telling it so for example to, uh for this month they have a shift uh night shift is uh five days so they can dapat filtering it lah for every shift they are going to put 10 in it. So five days, they are going to put 15 in it. 
The next one is the selfie. Okay. Uh, if you enable this, the employee, when they uh, wants to clock in, it requires them to take a selfie of themselves. Right? This is to prove that, that the employee is the one who is clocking in. Uh, the reason why is because you if you disable this, you can always ask your friend to use their phone uh, and also uh, clock in on behalf of you because there's no proof that you are the one yang uh, clocking in. But with selfie, uh, it can show proof that you are the one who's clocked in. The next one is the, the location. Our attendance uh, can track your location. So if you enable the location, then you can always uh, assign your office. Let's say your office is at uh, Menara Centrum or Menara UOA Bangsa. Okay. So you can click Menara UOA Bangsa. So here, it will show this is the Menara UOA Bangsa. You can set the range 200 meter, 300 meter. The smallest is 30 meter. But for big office like Menara Bangsa, we don't recommend 30 lah. At least uh, 150 meter because uh, of the building size, right? So you put 150 or 200 meter. Okay, and then you can add the location here. So employee, when they clock in, if the shift is assigned to them, they are only allowed to clock in at this specific location. All right? So that is how uh, the system works. Lah. Uh, if you don't put a location, they, will, they can clock in anywhere, but the system will capture the location that they clock in. All right? So this is an example. So you create shift, then it will show. Okay. Then you can assign shift to the employee. Okay. Whoever lah. Okay. Let's say you apply. Okay. This person yang. Uh, uh, everyone lah. Let's say everyone. Okay. It's assigned to this. Uh, if you have other shift, you can put lah. Uh, other shift. Uh, afternoon shift. Let's say shift PM, and so on. Okay. You can do that also. So that's how you create your shift. And then um, it will show you the roster. Okay. Attendance record. So today's attendance, it will take on whatever shift. Lah. So this is the shift. But they can check present. Is there anyone who uh, already clocked in or not? So in this case, in the present, nobody clocked in yet lah, because I just uh, added in. Okay. Uh, if the employee does not clock in, then they can show lah, macam ni sekarang. Today's attendance supposed to be 4%. Uh, present, currently none. Absent, 4% lah. Right? So is there any OT request? No. If there is, then you can go here and you can uh, approve from here. And then this is the OT form. Okay? Uh, you can choose either one lah tadi. At the settings, uh, we only choose OT form, then we choose OT form. All right. So that's uh, on the attendance. Lah. So here is the attendance report. Um, you can claim it from here. Lah. 